at a university for the win! Yay! Hey guys! So today I just wanted to make a video and tell you about things that I have coming up and make some recommendations and some other comments and uh, yeah, so a couple of things. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this and then I'm going to go get some breakfast because I've been up for two hours and haven't eaten yet. And that's ridiculous. So, okay, first of all, oh my god, the weather, it's so nice! I love it. I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, this is how it should be. I have missed weather like this ever since leaving Florida because usually this sort of weather rolls around in November and I just get so inspired to read and write and do lots of creative things. But last year in Ohio, unfortunately, the weather went from horribly, horribly hot to snowing. And since snowing isn't really my thing, I was really distracted and there was none of this awesomeness outside. But today there is. And so I'm going to go to Waffle House because I'm starving and uh, get a peanut butter waffle. Yep, that throws my diet right out the window, but uh, peanut butter waffles and this weather go together, so we're going to do that. Second of all, I was going to do a Friday Reads video um, on Friday, but ended up being possibly Saturday morning because, um, yeah, I haven't done one yet and I kept thinking I really should, but I thought about it and I'm still reading uh, this, this Caliandro series and I figured... Everybody knows I'm reading this already, nobody needs to know <laughs> repeatedly every Friday that I'm continuing it. But I'm almost done. This is book six, five. Yeah, this is book five. I'm, I'm like, Ugh. no. So I'm on book five, I have three more to go, and I'm done, and I'm going to do one big discussion um, post when I'm finished because. You don't want to see me talk about every single one of these in the series. I'd rather just talk about them all at the end and be done and then move on to something else so that I can get in my horror reads for uh, autumn the rest of the year. The other reason I didn't do the Friday reads was because I'm not going to be able to read as much this weekend considering I had to do a work event yesterday and usually Saturday is the day that I run around and do errands and read stuff. But um not happening because I'm at a work event two hours away. But check out what I got at the work event. Jewelries of the pocket watch type. So this thing is awesome. It has little horse scopes around the um, outside and on the inside it's got mechanical things you can watch moving and it's got holes to look at on the front and on the back and I love it, and I love it! I'm not sure if I like it more because it looks very steampunk-esque or because it looks like an alethiometer. I'm not sure. If you don't know what an alethiometer is, you should go read Philip Pullman's The Golden Compass. And I don't know why it stopped ticking just now because I had wound it up. I have probably done something foolish to it, so... I'm sure I'll get it to start working again in a few minutes. So that aside, other videos that I want to make for you guys include my next bookshelf tour. And um, I've already filmed one of my bookshelves, like the whole thing from top to bottom. But I'm not sure if I want to do that one first. I have filmed one of my unread bookshelves, and that's what you see behind here. These are my unread bookshelves. So all these books, for the most part, with the exceptions of a couple that are on here, have not been read. My Reds books are uh, over there in a different part of the house and uh, I guess my question is do you want to see the books I haven't read first or do you want to watch uh, me do the ones that I have read because I'm not sure which way to go. So if you want to see the ones I've already read let me know and I will film that shelf and if you would rather see this one back here I will go ahead and start splitting those up into manageable chunks because again Lots and lots, and I scanned the whole bottom shelf yesterday for my Goodreads list because most of these aren't on my Goodreads list, unfortunately, because my memory, who knew, I wouldn't remember everything that I have bought and not read yet. But uh, yeah, one shelf was something in the range of, I don't know, 85 books on just one, and I'm like, that's a lot. How do I fit all of that stuff on there? But anyway, lots of books, lots of stuff to film and bookshelf tours. I feel like this is going to go 
on so long and that's why I'm doing it in chunks and not constantly doing them every day. So that's my other thing. I'm going to be doing a tag next because I was tagged by Cheryl from Cheryl 301. So I'm going to be doing the book burger tag soon. Yay! Thank you for tagging me and I'm definitely going to be doing it. Next, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to me so far. I'm so excited. I don't know what to say except thank you so much and I hope you enjoy watching me. And if you have comments on what you would like to see or things you would like to see me improve, am I not energetic enough? I know at randomly I'm energetic on the days when I don't take any time whatsoever to get ready. And then on the days when I do, you know, makeup and clothes for the camera, I'm just sort of sedate and I'm like, I'm not sure why that is. Apparently I'm better at improv than I ever thought I was. Not really. I'm terrible at improv. Horrible. Horrible. I have to pre-plan everything. Um, but yes, so that. And finally, let's go ahead and give some recommendations because I want there to be books in this video besides Roadkill, which incidentally, only glossy book in the Caliandro series. Why? Why? All the others have matte covers. Why is this one glossy? Is it because it, they want my tears of boredom to roll off of it smoothly. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually bored. Although I'm halfway through the book and nothing of consequence has happened whatsoever. <sighs> Why? <laughs> we'll be getting to that discussion hopefully soon because I only have so much more patience for the series and um coming close to the end. Basically I'm trying to make it to book seven because that's the one I actually want to read because my favorite character is supposedly all up in that one but we'll see. We'll see because I don't believe anything that anybody tells me about this book series. Book series. So I'm going to go ahead and do some recommendations. So how about Douglas Adams The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and everything involved in this period. So holy cow this book is so so funny so funny. Uh, the humor, I just can't even, I can't describe it. There is no way to describe this. It is so good and in fact I really should read it again because guaranteed I will find it that much more hilarious and interesting. Excuse my horses in my house running around doing crazy stuff chasing each other. Anyway, I read this book in high school and Loved it to tears even then, so I can only imagine what I'll think of it now. It's awesome. The movies, the various movies I've seen, don't do it justice. Uh, second, we have The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. If you like nonfiction of any kind, or if you like stories about serial killers, or history, or anything, oh, love this book. I read it when I was dead sick a few years ago and I was home from work because I was so sick and um, read it in about a day and a half because I just loved it that much despite the fact that I felt like I was dying and literally couldn't leave the bed. So this book is great. And finally we have The Beetle by Richard Marsh. I read this in my Victorian literature class quite some time ago. Now this book is good if you like Victorian literature fantasy and horror because it's sort of an amalgam of the three. I can't even really describe it to you because it's just its own thing and to be fair probably that some of the stuff that happens toward the end it's like what that doesn't make any reasonable sort of sense but whatever. My um, Victorian lit teacher sort of always sneered at this one even though he had us read it because I guess he thought it wasn't uh, realistic enough but then he liked New Grub Street which I thought was boring and long for no reason and um, just really melodramatic and I didn't care about those people at all because they were ridiculous. No, New Grub Street is good. I, I don't mean that. I really don't mean that. New Grub Street is good but The Beetle I liked more and there's one chapter when uh, the main character goes into this house and there's this creepy crawly thing that scuttles across the floor and starts crawling up his body. Okay, I was on the bus reading this and my face had to have been like, 
I was literally disgusted and mortified and felt legitimately violated by what he wrote about how that creature crawled up all over the main character. It was disgusting. Ugh, I still think about it and I'm like, ew, ew. So, fall, pocket watches, recommendations. Tell me about what you would like to see on the bookshelf tour because I'm curious. Also, I'm quickly approaching 100 subscribers, so thank you so much! And uh, when I do hit 100, hopefully, whenever that is, um, I will do something special, maybe a QA and a if you're even sort of interested in that, or maybe a giveaway, so we'll see. But that's all for now, and I'm going to go eat my delicious waffle and then come back and film the book burger tag that uh, Cheryl tagged me in. So, okay, bye for now!